In this video, I am going to show you how to write a fraction in Google Docs. As you're working in Google Docs, there may be times where you want to put a fraction in your document. And if you are a beginner or you've never done this before, you may be wondering how to do this. Well, luckily, it's pretty easy and there's actually a few different ways of doing this. I'm only going to cover two ways in this video, but there's other ways beyond this. So the first way is just to type your numerator and denominator of your fraction separated by a diagonal line and then pressing enter and Google, Google Docs will automatically convert this to a fraction. So first click into your document wherever you want the fraction to appear and then type your numerator or the first number of your fraction and then type a diagonal line. Then you need to type your denominator or the second number of your fraction. And then when you press enter, Google Docs will automatically convert this to a fraction. So this is the easiest method, is just to type your numbers separated by a diagonal line. Now the next method I'm going to show is inserting a fraction using special characters. So what you need to do is again, type into your doc wherever you want the fraction to appear. And then go up to the top and press insert. And then special characters. Then what you want to make sure is that this second setting here is set to number and then this third one you're going to select fractions and related. And then what you're going to have here is a list of fractions that you can choose from to put into your Google Doc. So you can type whichever one is appropriate and then you can exit out of this and you will see I have a fraction in my Google Doc. So there's other ways to put fractions into your Google Docs beyond this, but I think these are the two easiest methods. Personally, I like to just type it, but it's up to you if you want to use the insert special characters method. That's a good option too. Um, this is pretty much it for this video. It's going to be a short one. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.